It's the 4th of September. This is your daily debrief. We're talking about, in particular, the market's going down. September's going to be a pretty bad month, we think. And also, there are opportunities out there. And in particular, there's something happening on Sui, which I think could be of interest. Let's dive in. So firstly, this I should have mentioned yesterday, but I'm sorry. It just came out just before kind of the live stream. And Sui, a network that we're not very, very familiar with, but of course, most of my focus on Solana, but we're not Solana Maxis. Sui is another network, which is kind of a new blockchain, higher speed. They're building, they've got, you know, ecosystem funds and whatnot. And then what they've done is they've gone and created something that's kind of like a PlayStation Portable, if you remember them, or there's now like the a Steam Deck and other devices, which allows you to play games like this. Now, I, I can't game to save my life. I, and I haven't been able to game very well for quite some time. So this doesn't have that kind of product market fit necessarily with a lot of us. But the value play here, I feel, is the fact that this this creates an NFT. And this NFT will then get airdrops. It will get exclusive access, just like a Saga did. The Solana Saga phone, 10,000 of them, I think. Like, it paid for itself times two or three times, especially if you're early. Even the Saga 2 pre-order has essentially paid for itself. Maybe it already has. So there's no referral system here or anything like that. There's nothing that I stand to gain. I have pre-ordered one with one wallet. I'm going to pre-order another one with another wallet. Once again, this the device itself, I hope it actually manages to bring more people into, into crypto because crypto gaming is relevant. It's nowhere near big enough to take on or gain any market share from traditional gaming. And I've spoken to some people in this space in gaming, and that's just the unfortunate reality. So there's a little film here. If you go and pre-order it, it's $599. You have to create a Playtron account. My suggestion would be to create two different accounts if you're going to buy more than one or you know multiple different accounts so that you get the NFT dropped. I don't actually know how it works, like how do you claim that NFT, but it's soul bound to just the Playtron account. So I imagine there's some way to use that in the future. This won't be quite the same as Saga because like this is a Web2 kind of version, but that's still very, very bullish, right? Because taking away the abstracting the difficulty, which is what we have to do. The first 1,000 got like the Genesis kind of NFT and then the next how many get a different type of NFT. I bought mine last night, like midnight, and there was like 1,400. So if this is something you can spend, go for it. Remember the value play here is the fact that you should be getting some sort of airdrops from different people that want to support you in the Sui ecosystem, but not entirely sure how it's going to play out. Anyway, let's get on to some actual crypto news. So crypto, we're going to start to change the format up a little bit so it's more visible. You can see everything that's going on. Unfortunately, things are down quite considerably in the last 24 hours. We'll go over why. Bitcoin's gone down significantly. Sol's down a nice 4.2%. It's down 4.2%. It's just, it's a bloodbath out there. And that's not nice, but it's kind of to be expected. If we have a look at seven days, it's even worse. Sol's down considerably. 30 days. In the last 30 days, we're actually up a little bit. But if we go three months, it's been vicious. If you are just playing with, say, Solana, or maybe you are with Sui. I don't even know where the Sui token is here. Maybe it's somewhere over here. But if you are playing with these ecosystems and you're starting to see yourself collapse, just remember that BTC has also gone down. And even in the last six months, it has been a brutal time. I mean, Sol down slightly, ETH down considerably. So you need to zoom out. Now what we have to do is we have to compare it to the fact that the actual just stocks, the global ecosystem of money rotating into assets is down crazily. Not as crazy as crypto because there's less people playing in it in crypto. But you can see NVIDIA is down significantly and just across the board, a whole lot of uncertainty. Remember, September is known for this. This is fine. This is boring. But this is a good time to learn new stuff and to stay active. In particular, with NVIDIA, if you don't know why their stock has fallen so hard, they've tried to, they're either acquiring or try to acquire Run or they've acquired Run, which is an AI startup for like this massive amount of money, right? And the issue with this is they're starting to kind of corner the market. So when you corner the market, it introduces antitrust. And this is, you know, this is Ash's take, which we're not going to take as super completely credible, but there's enough value in here just to keep it an idea on some things. Like if BTC is going down and stocks are going down, clear correlation. And NVIDIA dumped nearly 10% due to the Department of Justice, Justice subpoena. So with NVIDIA, it dropped down, you know, 18%. And like this is, this is a magical unicorn, you know, the biggest kind of stock there is. And when we compare Solana, it's, it's bad, but it's not as, I mean, it's worse. 
but just keep in mind that something as big as Nvidia is having difficulty. So this is this relates to Donald Trump's backed DeFi protocol, reportedly based on Doe Finance Code. This is just some some stuff that we've just got. We're looking at it. Essentially, people will be joining this Telegram chat, myself included. If Kamala Harris had one, I would join that happily. These things will attract people. Some, some, there'll be opportunity for, just keep in mind that this one here was like World Liberty Financial. They've hired people that basically use Doe Finance code, or this is a previous step, and they, they suffered an exploit. Let's get past this. So the, this project is linked to a $2 million DeFi hack and former pickup artist. Well, don't really care about the pickup artist, but just the fact that I haven't even looked at the white paper here, but they've worked on Doe Finance. So we just need to just be a little bit gentle when we're, when this comes available, if you decide or do not decide to enter, my expectation is like, they're not going to do anything to try and hurt someone's reputation, like the Trump family. But at the same time, if the code's not audited properly by multiple auditors, then we could have also, this is, I don't even know who Lara and Tiffany Trump are, kids, maybe associates, cousins, family, family members, their Twitter account have been hacked. So this is something that's, you know, shouldn't be happening with anyone attached to a former president. There should be enough operational security. So this makes me rather bearish on this. I can understand it happens to major things like parcel and major dApps in the space. And I can, and I can definitely understand that. But when it's operational security, that's when it's, you know, very, very embarrassing that these guys don't have proper two-factor authentication. They're using mobile phones, etc. So at the same time, like it's there's economic value to abstract away. And if you have that, that you can abstract away, then of course, people are going to go after you. Just be vigilant out here. When we know more, more details on this, we'll cover it. Next bit of news. Remember your US dollars, if they're just sitting idle, park them somewhere, use Carrot DeFi, use Camino, use Lulo. That way you're just earning something on them until you're ready to deploy. We have some, some stuff shipping from Camino Finance with Lend V2. Just put it on your radar. I've put out a video on Camino. I already covered it in a live stream, but I'll put it out probably today. And basically, I want to know how many people are actually using Camino, or if you're not using it, the reason why, or if you're scared of it or whatever. But this this is my not, not financial advice. I hate to do these kind of predictions because, you know, if I'm wrong, I'm going to be nailed to a cross. Five cents is the token price right now for Camino or less. And it's going to go, it's going to be, it's going to go to like 50 cents or more. And at the same time, you'll be earning yield. So it's like a, in my opinion, it's kind of a nice, easy 10xer and highly more. Some people have start, said, or one person asked, can it go to $10? No, the token price can't go to $10. I'm going to be trying to catch up with the team at Breakpoint and finding out exactly what's going on. And ideally even doing a live stream maybe with them beforehand if we have time. But V2, you can have a read of this. It's all a little bit technical. The biggest thing is they're growing their TVO and I think it's going to be a major source. And this is very net positive for Solana. It's like Jupiter and Camino, they're the things I'm most bullish on. With the Jupiter DAO, just as a reminder, there's another active staking rewards renewal vote. It will happen before Breakpoint. So when this goes through, I'll let everyone know. In the meantime, just Solana calendar always check that because we're going to start to move away from pinging you on the, as reminders and just give you more alpha and then you know make sure that you're actually checking the calendar for the actionables but as one re little reminder the nx finance ido is still happening right now i don't know how it's going we'll have a quick look so they have not done terribly well since this first stage here and fine i, I wish every project success but this is a little bit optimistic because they're a little bit too new so this will still help of course and they can still they still have potential to do really really well just probably not the, the best time to actually launch other things we've got happening today let's have a look there's quite a few things book your drift ride for breakpoint drift dinner use grab okay that one's still being entered by the looks of things but more and more things there's a stream on this week and there's a stream on next week uh jupin has been invited to proceed to a trial working group so they're going to have a vote coming up. This vote will kick off September 9th. So that will go into the calendar as well. Remember, you can vote yes, you can vote no, doesn't matter. I'll be voting yes. But the major thing is, if you don't vote, you do not get active staking rewards. Later today at 4.30 my time, 3.30 UTC, we have the Jupe planetary call. If you're going to watch this, dive in. Plenty of alpha, as always. And also at the end, remember, if you've got 50 staked Jupe, you can enter the form to get the power. Super team have put out a really cool video, which which is uh, medically guaranteed to fix your problems. Essentially, it's are you someone suffering from STDs? Have a watch of it yourself. Just Super team is doing 
wonderful things. They've actually got like a kind of a hackathon happening at the moment as well. Ooh, I can't find the right page. I'll find, the, I'll find the right page, sorry, tomorrow. But they've got some sort of grant, not hackathon, but like a grant system. So there are people that want to build cool stuff that may not be dev related. This is who you reach out to. And they have the ecosystem call. These are the best ecosystem calls in all of crypto. Tomorrow, 1 p.m. UTC. That's the same time that I'm doing my live stream. So I'll be tuning in straight after the live stream. Quick recap of the bonk dragon attributes. Remember for context, bonk, last year, if you did the bonk miss, you got like two and a half thousand dollars worth of bonk rewards, like up to that. And some attributes are only obtainable until September 30th. So I might just do a video on this with a brand new wallet just so we can see what it is. For those that are into bonk, just go and go into this. In fact, I'll do it with my 10K to 100K challenge. That way it's, you know, very, very easy. But at the same time, just check out this video. You have to do, you have to lock up some bonk and you have to go send, you have to own a domain name and you with a bonk mark e card. Maybe a couple of other things. Check it out. Here we've got some stuff on Pump.Fun. I'm really looking forward to when that compared to Nox amount. And I'm also looking forward to when something like Pump.Fun is not the meta. Yes, they're selling a whole lot of soul. Just to be perfectly honest, like the Solana market can absorb this. This is not affecting the price. The reason why the price has been affected is because of the narrative of actual coins. In general, though, I don't like to see that they just sell so much soul. They're clearly not bullish on this ecosystem. Like what they could do if they want to is they could sell a small amount. They could then put it into, they could stake it with the validator. They could convert it to Gitasol. They could borrow PYUSD on it from Camino. They could pay their bills. If they're actually here for the long run, they could do that. But it doesn't seem like they are. Now, this is the, the scary thing. When you overlay pump.funds launches on top of the Solana price chart, this is when everything collapses. Meme coin meta kind of came, came and it just, these are just extracting liquidity. And I would imagine that there'd probably be less than 100 people that were linked that were just out there making tens of millions of dollars by just dumping on you, just being anonymous people, just launching these things. And they're all like, remember, there's like 10,000 a day and there's like five that are potentially good. These are, this is, this should not be the meta. People need to try harder and pump dot fun. I think you should just skip it. Solana, breakpoint, attendees from 112 countries. Are you there? Want to be, want to make sure that people are getting there if they can. And if you can't get there, I will do as much content as possible. If you're a gamer, unlike myself, but I'll, I'll play and I'll, I'll, be, I'll be terrible, but I'll give it a go. I do want to see games. It's just a little bit scary to see. It's, as I mentioned, it's, it's hard to really form a big narrative around gaming this cycle. I just don't think it's there. Either way, there's a gaming, there's, there's a whole gaming village inside the entire se the sector. So you don't have to travel anywhere else like we did for Lisbon. So that's really cool. And 400 more tickets to get to 5,000. I've got a video on if you're going to Breakpoint and if you're in Singapore and this little Instagram kind of video is brilliant showing you how you can do everything with Grab. As you can see, prices are decently expensive. Famous style with cheese combo, 16 Singaporean dollars, but you can get a lot of other stuff at Hawker's far more affordable and you can pay you can put solana you see on this tickets 500 dollars devs less also if you're going to breakpoint then you may as well go to token 2049 pay with usd you've got only a couple more days before this goes up to this price and that's you know far more expensive if you use seb monty 10 as a discount you get 10 percent off side events here you need if you, anyone's going to breakpoint and if you haven't started registering for side events you're gonna most likely miss out I'm going to iterate on this every time until we get there. I know September's a quiet, a little bit of a boring month, but things will start to get a little bit exciting at Breakpoint. October will start to get more exciting. And then November, December, I think it's going to go epically crazy. Let's move on to some actionables. Attend the Jupes planetary call at 3.30 p.m. UTC. Claim the power up. DCA Soul on Jupes.ag and stake with validator.com. Play some stink bids on Soul between 100 to 130. We've now kind of broken below 130, like 128 or so. So maybe it's 100 to 120. Book your tickets to Breakpoint and Token 2049. Put your stables coin in to work at Lulo and watch the Solana ecosystem call tomorrow and the airdrop actionables. I'm going to remind you less. I want to know in the comments if you prefer this. Obviously, I want you to stake bonk, but I want to remind you every single day, maybe a couple of times a week. You let me know. But mint the Solana ID priority pass for exclusive solid perks and airdrops. My link is below. I am, I think this has super product market fit. Pre-order Sui Play, Oxy, OX1, whatever it is called, for future airdrops if you think it has value like you th like I think it has value, like it has a saga value. And I want to know in the comments, has anyone followed the Crypto Class Link Scenarium Guide? This is just, we're literally just bridging funds from, from a testnet on ETH over to Scenarium, which is a, an Ethereum L2. The other first, first things to do, 
You can also do that with like five or 10 different wallets if you want. We never know if it's going to work out, but you know, we're, we're here to grow our bags in crypto after all, as well as learn the tech. So I want to know if anyone's doing those actionables, what actionables you like, help me to improve this so we can have more people gaining this alpha. Thanks very much for tuning in. Catch you in the next video. And remember the Camino video will be out later today.